OK, in this video, we've got a uniform beam AD of mass 30 kilos rests horizontally in equilibrium on supports at B and C, as shown. When a block is placed on the beam at A, it just remains in equilibrium. Find the mass of the block. So that means it's on the point of tilting uh, when the block is placed at A. OK, so let's draw a force diagram so we can see what's going on. So at B, there will be a normal reaction force. OK, however, at C, there won't be. OK, because the, the rod will be tilting around B. So the normal reaction force at C will be zero. Now, what else do we know? We know that the particle, the particle here, OK, has mass m. OK, we don't know its mass, so we'll call that m. And that will be weight mg. We know that the beam itself has a mass of 30 kilos. OK, so the, the rod is 2 plus 4 plus 1, so 7 metres. So 3.5 metres along, we've got its weight working down at 30 g. So um, this distance is 2 metres. This distance is 1.5 metres. OK, so that's uh, what we know. OK, so um, you can see that we've got two unknowns here, the M and the RB. So if I take moments about point A, then what I'll be able to do then is set up an equation that gets me uh, RB. OK, so... I'm going to have the normal reaction force here going anti-clockwise. So that'll be positive. So RB times by 2. And then I've got the 30G. That's going clockwise. So that's negative. So take away 30G times, well, that'd be 3.5 metres, wouldn't it? Zero. So RB is, well, I'm going to take G is 9.8. So 30 times 9.8 times 3.5 is 1,029. Divide that by 2 is 514.5. So that is the normal reaction force. So now, if I am saying, well, um, we're in equilibrium, just, um, so I can find the resultant force, and that will be 0. So if I resolve taking downwards as positive, then I've got mg working downwards, I've got rb working upwards, and I've got the 30g working downwards, and that's got to be equal to zero. So if I add the 514.5 to the other side, take away 30 lots of g, that gets me 220.5, then divide by g, so divide by 9.8, and I get 4502, so 22.5 kilos. So the mass uh, of the particle A, in order to keep it just in equilibrium, would be 22.5 kilos.